Open for Views. Hey, and welcome to Open for Views. Today's game break is Metal Storm for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Just sliding it into the front loading NES right now. Metal Storm was published by Irem and developed by Tamtex. And Tamtex did a lot of work for Irem. I mean, the arcade, NES, Famicom, Famicom Disk System, Super Nintendo, and they even released a game on the uh, Turbo Graphics. I'm sure they did more work, but I mean, will we ever know about it? Who knows? The games that they developed, they did Spelunker on the Famicom for Irem, uh, Spartan X2, which is the secret. Uh, most people in the United States know uh, Spartan X as uh, Kung Fu. And they did uh, the NES and Game Boy versions of uh, Hammer and Harry. So, let's check out some Metal Storm. You play as M308 Gunner in the year 2501. And a defense system off of uh, Pluto has gone nuts and is destroying the solar system. <laughs> or so the story goes. Uh... Metal Storm is relati relatively straightforward. Uh, you move left and right. You can duck. You can aim up. You can run and shoot. But the game has a gimmick, and it's reverse polarity. You press, well, I mean, you can jump as well, but you hold up, and you press jump. Now you're on the ceiling. The, the rub is when you come across an enemy, they come with you. Game has nice big sprites. Really, really, really good music. Composed by uh, Toru Watanabe, who, I don't know if the guy composed anything else or worked on any other game, but the, the work he did on Metal Storm is awesome. Ah, almost got blasted by that guy. See so this little, you know, you hop up and down through the different platforms, depending on which. Now check that out. See if you if you reverse gravity right there, you'll slam right into some spikes and blow up. And and you'll see one of the best one of the best death animations or explosions on the NES. I'm sure we'll see it in just a second. <laughs> Right here is your first, essentially, gravity puzzle. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I got these power-ups. What am I supposed to do? Well, you press up, jump, reverse polarity, and then you can hop on out. And see the little the up and down arrows are kind of like a little hint to say, oh, you can you can do something. A little a visual hint. The director of this game also worked on uh, Assault Suits Lanos. Two, I believe. Oh, that wasn't going to be good. Um, his name is, uh, I think, Kengo Miyata. And we're going to have our first little mid boss. It's right after this we get our first weapon upgrade. Yeah, you hold you hold the fire button and it's you know. Yeah, here's our first. A you know, wave, a wave bullet. Yeah, and you can when you reverse polarity, you can blast the enemies on your way down. Uh, you can also get a uh, an upgrade that allows you when you're swapping up and down, it allows you to. Uh, kind of turn on a flame to, you know, damage enemies or become invincible. It'll take out bullets as you're traveling up and down. Um, yeah, Hikaru Yamashita, that's who I was trying to remember earlier. Hikaru Yamashita is the programmer. And the he, wor he also worked on Assault Suits Lanos 2, but I think the last game that he was credited for was Mobile Suit Gundam 
Xeonic Front. These guys have a, a lot of history with mech games. Mecha. There we go. Take care of that guy. But I believe uh, it's six stages in total. Uh, you, know, you, you have your, your in-between stage scoring system, and then you get a password, which saves your uh, your score and like your weapon upgrades, lives, and that kind of stuff. This has a kind of labyrinth-esque feel to it. You can choose which way you're going to go. Right here, you can go up or down. And certain things happen based upon where you go. If you go this way, you can get a weapon upgrade. If you go this way, I believe that's the uh, like the fire um, gravity reversal attack. But let's go ahead, let's grab this power up so we can see what it is. These guys are pretty quick, so we gotta... Well, it's just a standard... Whoops. <laughs> Got all excited over nothing. But these guys are fast right there. Ooh. The metal slug controls beautifully. The music is cool. Some of the themes are a little creepy like you're hearing right now. Oh, oh, that was our shield. Okay, so we have one more hit. I was, I was thinking we were getting blown up there. Controls really well. Nice weapon upgrades. Uh, the game is, can be relatively punishing. Yeah, right here you have your little... That was my fault. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful explosion. Very nice. Very fancy. See, I was supposed to be over here. And then do it. <laughs> but the game will punish you for playing it wrong. Uh, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here and play this game all night now. I turned it on. I made the mistake. I made the mistake of turning on Metal Storm. Now, I'm trapped with it all night. <laughs> Metal Storm, as I said, great animation. Uh, Tamtex is a really good developer. They made some really uh, excellent games. Uh, the Misunderstood Spelunker. They made... Uh, uh, what is it? Gekitatsu Yanku Battle, which basically translates to uh, four-wheel drive... Battle Clash, which is an awesome overhead racing game that seems pretty mellow until you get to the last stage and then it just completely destroys you. <laughs> but yeah, Tamtex, good developer, did a lot of good work for Irem. And yeah, check out check out Metal Storm. Check out Metal Storm if you like Contra, if you like Metal Slug, um, if you like Mecha, if you like uh, games that can be pretty punishing. You got to learn the way the game plays. You got to learn its rules. As always with games that are covered on Game Break here on Open for Views, it's highly recommended. But the time has come. We were open before, but now we're closed. Beat it. <laughs>